This video is an overview of major developments in China's nuclear industry in 2021. China is the world leader in the construction of nuclear power plants at home. Now China has practically caught up with France in terms of the number of nuclear power plant units, and in terms of the amount of electricity generated at nuclear power plants, it has already overtaken and ranked second in the world after the United States. In total, there are more than 20 nuclear power plants in China, some of which have up to 8 nuclear power units. In total, they have 54 nuclear power units, and it is quite possible that by the end of 2022 they will overtake France in terms of their number. China has one of the youngest nuclear parks. The average age of the blocks is less than 9 years. Therefore, China did not close nuclear power plants by age last year, and there will not be for a long time. But the new construction is going very rapidly. Every fourth nuclear unit under construction in the world is built in China. Let us look at what was built in 2021. In total, three units were connected during the year. In May and June, Unit 5 of Hongyan NPP and Unit 6 of Tianwan NPP were connected to the grid. These are gigawatt units with Chinese-made pressurized water reactors, developed on the basis of second-generation French reactors and improved many times over. China and France have a long-standing cooperation in the nuclear field, which continues to this day. The French even built their most modern EPR-1600 reactor in China earlier than in Europe, on December 20. The first power unit of the Shidao Bay NPP was connected to the grid. And this is a unique power unit, which operates two reactors and one turbine at once. These are HTRPM gas-cooled reactors, or in another classification, HTGR, high-temperature gas-cooled reactors. In principle, there are gas-cooled reactors in the world, but old ones, such as they were closed in the UK last year. Helium acts as a coolant for Chinese HTGR. The fuel used is not traditional fuel assemblies with cylindrical fuel elements but fuel in the form of balls, spherical fuel elements 6 cm in diameter made of graphite with inclusions of ceramic uranium fuel. These reactors are small in power, only 250 MW of heat. Each has one steam generator and a common turbine for two 200 MW reactors. This is an experimental block. Prior to this, a small 10 MW HTGR had been operating in China for a long time. In the future, it is planned to build a commercial unit with a capacity of 650 megawatts with six reactors. In general, China has big plans for these high-temperature reactors. The main advantage of such reactors is the high temperature of the coolant, about 750 degrees Celsius. This is twice as high as in pressurized water reactors and even higher than in fast reactors with liquid metal coolants. The high temperature makes it possible to obtain a higher efficiency of the power unit, about 44 percent, and most importantly, it allows the unit to be used as a source of heat and high temperature not only for generating electricity, but also for various industrial processes, urban heating, desalination or hydrogen production, which is especially relevant in the light of the energy transition. Many media erroneously reported that China launched the world's first small modular nuclear power plant. On the one hand, this is not so, because the first small nuclear power plant, which has been operating for two years already, is the floating nuclear power plant Akademik Lomonosov in Russia, but where China really leads is in the development of a new type of gas-cooled modular reactors, which, by the way, can be attributed to Generation 4. Also in 2021, China began construction of three new power units with Walong-1 reactors at once, translated as Chinese Dragon. This is a Chinese 1000 MW third-generation pressurized water reactor project in China. Based on it, China plans to develop its own nuclear power industry and export it. To promote this dragon, it was even merged as a common project for two Chinese nuclear corporations, CGN and CNNC. Yes, China has not one, but two of its own Rosatom. Their dragon designs are slightly different, including in terms of power, but for promotion abroad, they are still combined into one brand. Now two dragons are already working in China, and one of them was connected recently, on January 1st of the new year. 2022, and 10 more dragons are under construction. Abroad, one such block is already operating, and one is at the launching stage. Both are in Pakistan. Another four units in the past year in China began to be built according to the Russian VR-1200 project. We are talking about two sites, the 7th and 8th units of the DN-1 NPP, where the first four units with VR-1000 have already been built with the participation of Russia. And the 3rd and 4th blocks of the Zutabu NPP, and this is a new site for Rosatom. On May 19, this construction was officially launched. A solemn ceremony was held with the online participation of Xi Jinping and Putin. As part of the ceremony, of course, all four blocks were symbolically launched as one major Russian-Chinese project. But judging by the ceremony, in fact, concrete laying began on only two blocks that day, 
one at each site, at the seventh unit of the Tian 1 nuclear power plant and at the third unit of Zutabu. Although the last one in the pre-database, this is such an IAEA database, has a upload date of July 28, strongly after the ceremony. By the way, a melt trap has already been installed there, so they are building quite quickly. Judging by the previously outlined plans of the Russian atom straw export, it was planned to start building the blocks with an interval of 5 to 8 months, so most likely the first concrete of the two remaining blocks will actually be poured already this year, 2022. In China, there was a lot of different nuclear news in the past year, but I mentioned the main ones related to the launches of new units. Subscribe to the channel, there is still a lot of interesting nuclear news ahead.